What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's Friday, December 8th, 2017, and that means it is week number 13 of Zerg. He is located on Earth at the Winding Cove. So, let's go see what he has in his Quickie Mart this week. I'm pretty sure Zer actually came when Bungie released the Raid Lair at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time. So, yeah, he definitely came very, very late today. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we are going to start with the left-hand side. We do not have the Weapon of the Week uh, first. It's actually right here. Ooh, look, Prometheus Lens. But the first exotic we'll be going over is the Dragon Shadow for the Hunter class. It has a little bit of mobility with three times the resilience. That's just ridiculous. The intrinsic perk is, on this is uh, Wraith Metal Mail, which grants increased movement and weapon handling speed for a short time after dodging. Next, we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod and Restorative mod, as well as Void Paragon mod. Now. This definitely is a good uh, exotic 400 if you guys like moving around the map a lot and focus more on actually shooting versus your abilities. So I definitely would rate this a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. So if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it because it's definitely a good universal exotic for the Hunter class. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Nezarek Sin for the Warlock. It has a little bit of mobility, resilience, and recovery. Trends of perk on this is Abysmal Extractors, which void damage kills, increase ability, energy, recharge rate. Next, we have Mobility Enhancement mod and Restorative mod. And this actually comes with an Energy Bracket mod. Now, this is definitely is one of the top tier exotics for the Warlock, and you can use this on any warlock subclass even though it does say void damage kills that does not mean you have to be on a void walker but you can kill things with void weapons and still get the effect now this was my go-to number two exotic and technically still is because my go-to number one was the karnstein armlets until bungie nerfed the shit out of this and changed it but now we are rocking the Affidian Aspect once again, and it is amazing. So, I would actually consider the Affidian Aspect to be the top exotic for the Warlock, and then next would be the Nezarek Sin. So if you don't have a Nezarek Sin or Affidian Aspect, then by all means, go ahead and grab this Nezarek Sin that Zer is selling. This is definitely a Tier 2 and uh, PvE as well as PvP, if not a tier 1.5, which is even better. And yeah, so go ahead and grab that. Now we're going to skip over the weapon real quick and go straight to the Titan Armor, which is a blast from the past, and it is the Mark 44 Stand Asides. Intrinsic perk on this is Seriously, Watch Out, which grants an overshield when sprinting at full health with Seismic Strike, Hammer Strike, or shield bash equipped hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy next we have mobility enhancement mod and restorative mod and this also comes with uh, acceleration mod now this is an okay exotic i wouldn't consider it 100 percent top tier hi ashley i'm doing a video <laughs> Uh, I would not consider this top tier. It's not a bad exotic, but it's not like, oh my god, I have to get this now exotic, like uh, this is. But it's it's still a decent exotic, so I still would consider it a tier 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Like I said, it's not a bad one, but it's not like the go-to I have to have exotic. So, if you guys want it, grab it. If you guys don't want it, grab it, chart it, call it a day. And I just have it in your inventory. Next... But not least, we have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Prometheus Lens Exotic Trace Rifle. Now, this thing is OP at the moment. And yes, I will say it. OP. Overpowered. I know, because I kept getting killed by it in PvP. As of right now, this was actually released with the Curse of Osiris um, with an actual bug. So... We'll get into that in just a second. In terms of perk on this, it's Prismatic Inferno, which fires a solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field 
that grows while the weapon continues to fire. Then we have Chambered Compensator, uh, Projection Fuse, Flame uh, Refraction, which kills with this weapon, return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine, extended the beam's duration. And then we have Composite Stock, which is an awesome, wonderful perk. Then we have uh, also uh, Weapon Attack Mod on this as well. Now, let's compare it real quick to the Cold Heart. Whoops. So, as you can see, with the Cold Heart, the Prometheus lens has a little bit less stability, but more handling, more reload speed, the same RPM, as well as impact and range as the Cold Heart, but it also does have a less uh, magazine. Now, just because I have a less magazine does not mean it isn't as good as the Cold Heart. It, at the moment, because of uh, its wonderful issue, it is actually better than the Cold Heart. Now, the wonderful thing about this is when you actually fire this and you actually get that AoE damage on an enemy, you're doing the same amount of damage as you are when you shoot this thing, which is why it's OP. And yes, I still will continue to say it, OP, overpowered. And this thing will most likely get patched on December 12th. So if you guys don't have one, by all means, grab it. This as of right now, as of today, December 8th, this thing is top tier, tier 1 in PvE as well as PvP. As of next week, it might change. Might still be tier 1, might still be great. But this thing destroys in Crucible. And most likely it's going to destroy in Trials of the Night as well this weekend as well. So, yeah. <laughs> if you guys don't have this, grab it. I already have one, as you can tell. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.